For this problem, we want to find the total electric field at the origin. To begin, we want to find the electric field of our charge Q1. Q1 has a magnitude of 9.1 microcoulombs. This can be written as 9.1 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs. Q1 is a distance 8 meters away from the origin. What we now do is we use our equation E1 equals KQ1 over R1 squared. We plug in our values. 9 times 10 to the 9th for K. 9.1 times 10 to the negative 6 for Q1. And 8 for R1. Solve this out and we find 1,279 point six eight seven five newtons per coulomb. As for the direction, we all know that positive charges will push away from them. So at the origin, E1 has a direction going to the right. For part B, we want to find the second electric field, E2. This is caused by our charge Q2, which has a magnitude of 3 microcoulombs. This can be rewritten as 3 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs. Q2 is a distance 3 meters from the origin, written as R2. We now use our equation E2 equals KQ2 over R2 squared. We plug in our values. 9 times 10 to the 9th for K. 3 times 10 to the negative 6 for Q2. And 3 for R2. This would give us a value of 3,000 newtons per coulomb. As for the direction, we know that positive charges push away from themselves. This means that the electric field E2 is going to the left. For the final part of this problem, we want to find the net electric field at the origin. As you can see in the diagram, the smaller E1 is shown in blue, and the larger E2 is shown in red. To find the magnitude of the net electric field, we use the equation sigma E equals E1 plus E2. From here, we will plug in our values. This will give us our final answer of 1720.313 newtons per coulomb. Because it's mostly negative and, Q and E2 is larger, this is 1720.313 to the left.